Hello and welcome. It is the final Tuesday Tips Live of 2022, unbelievably. Next week, I will be driving home for Christmas, so I'm not gonna be here. And then, of course, we're into the festive period, at least for those of you who celebrate Christmas. But uh, it's holiday time, and that means holiday gifts. So I thought today it would be good fun for us to do a holiday gift guide. Last minute stocking fillers, ideas for DJs. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got uh, an article, I'm gonna pull the laptop in here like I often do. We've got an article that we published over on the Digital DJ Tips website this week where we looked into all these kinds of ideas that uh, don't cost too much but are gonna please any DJ, even the DJs who think they've got everything. So I thought it'd be quite good fun to look through this article here, but also I've assembled a few other bits and pieces around me uh, that are gift ideas that we didn't put into our guide. So, but I also want you to share yours. What do you want? What, would you, what do you want someone to buy you as a DJ? Or uh, what have you found for the DJ in your life as gift ideas? Share them with us uh, live in the chat. We're live on YouTube, Twitch, and on our Facebook page. And I will certainly read out your Christmas gift ideas as we go through our list today. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's kind of an end of year uh, Christmas gift idea. Um, uh, run through. Now I've just realized that we've got no comments. The comments are not coming through live. So I'm gonna be very unprofessional because uh, I normally like to have all this stuff sorted out before we go live. Uh, I'm gonna be very unprofessional and just dial up the comments now, copy my password into the comment system so that I can, uh, I can see what you're saying. Because it would be really boring if I couldn't see what you were saying, wouldn't it? It would just be me talking into the void, which we certainly don't want. So let's click log in there. And now I've got to click on all the pictures of palm trees. Isn't this fantastic? Don't you love these captures? Uh, should we do it together? Should we do the cap? Oh, it worked first time. I was gonna get you involved. Uh, it worked first time. Right, so we're live now and I've got the, uh, the chat coming in, which is good. Right, people, let's take a look at our list. Uh, and as I said, this list has been put onto the Digital DJ Tips website and it looks like this. Switch over to the website now and show you the uh, the list as it's as it is. So you'll find it. Go and have a look. It's on digitaldjtips.com uh, and it's called Twenty Last Minute Gift Ideas for DJs 2022. Uh, and the first one is the DJ Tech Tools Chroma Caps. Now I think these are really cool. I remember. I'm going to be honest with you. I remember when DJ Tech Tools first came out with these. I thought, is that the best you can do, guys? Caps, really? But actually the number of people who like to change their DJ gear, personalize it, get all the knobs and buttons, just looking the way they want them to look. It turns out that it's something that people really love doing and who am I to knock it? Just like buying a case for your phone, right? Something like that. So look, you can get them and they're, 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 their website has got a guide. So you put in the name of your DJ gear, like in this, in this instance we'd put Prime 4 and it will give you the whole set that you need to change everything on your DJ equipment. Uh, so these are a really nice little thing and they're like $2 each. So while on a big controller, that's gonna add up, you're gonna have something that looks really unique to you and you can pick all kinds of colors and so on. So our first DJ gift idea is DJ Tech Tools Chroma Caps. Do let me know, by the way, what you want. As I said, we've now finally got our comments on. So hello to A.D. Foster, to Chris, who says Merry Christmas, to Cabes, DJ Ginormous, and uh, AZH20. Uh, and to DJ Gracie Grace, this is all on uh, our YouTube page, and Bill Payer, hi Bill Payer 3745, um, and also over on Facebook, we've got Oleg, um, and uh, yeah, lots of you piling in now and saying hello. Jai Pinade over there on Twitch, hello, in France, nice shirt, you say, yeah, it's quite cold here today, I've got my, uh, got my warm brushed cotton shirt out, um, so right, Let's carry on. We're, we're talking about Christmas gifts for DJs. So I've just said that DJ Tech Tools do some great, um, some great DJ replacement caps for your gear. They also do some great cables. We've got loads of DJ Tech Tools cables here. Uh, we use them ourselves. I definitely recommend their cables, especially the USB-C one. If the back of your DJ gear uh, doesn't take, or rather your, your laptop doesn't take the, um, the gear, uh, lead that came with it because your lead will go from this socket where I'm pointing now to a USB-A. That's typically what you get with DJ gear, but you've got USB-C on your laptop. Well, then they do a cable that will go from one to the other and plug them together. Uh, so DJ Tech Tools cables, recommended. Right, let's put those over there, out the way, and we'll carry on with the second one of our uh, of our gift ideas for DJs. So this is a simple one, but it's a good one, personalized 
DJ slip mats. These are pretty cheap and you can get some really cool designs. You can send them in. So Amazon.com, Amazon UK, uh, good places to start. Maybe your local DJ store affiliates with one of these companies. They're like, they're from about $10, eight pounds each. You can have whatever you want put on slip mats. And we once, once upon a time back in the day had some digital DJ tips slip mats made uh, on with our old logo. Next time I dig the decks out on one of these live streams, uh, I'll show them to you. Um, so slip mats are a good thing, of course, if you're a DVS user or if you're a user of, um, of turntables, you've still got vinyl that you play. Hello to Craig, nice to see you, Craig, uh, on the very last Tuesday tips of the year, uh, who says, uh, season's greetings and good afternoon to you all. Long time no see indeed. Uh, right, let's carry on with our list of Christmas gift ideas, festive gift ideas for DJs. Uh, the next one is, I love this one. This is from Etsy. Uh, and it is a custom vinyl lyrics poster. So this is a poster where the actual lyrics, the actual grooves on the record that you see there are the lyrics of a song that you choose. So let's just zoom in on that so you can see it a bit closer. So your lyrics go here. I think that's a really nice gift for a DJ. You can, and it shows that you care because hey, you, you're the one who knows what song that DJ likes. Um, let's move on to the next one then. Um, these are novelty items that caught my eye. An Eat Sleep DJ water bottle again. You can see all of these links on the Digital DJ Tips article. This is from Amazon US. It's just $14 or pounds. So this is a good choice uh, for the DJ who's on the move and wants a bottle that shows off their hobby. I like that. And the next one's crazy, but I quite liked it as well. A beanie hat with a built-in USB light. How cool is that? So if you're DJing outdoors in the dark, uh, there you go. And it's rechargeable as well. And we found that one on Amazon US. So welcome, by the way, if you're just joining us, it's Phil here in the studio. We are talking through our Christmas gift ideas for this, our last Tuesday tips of the year. Uh, it's freezing in Berlin, so you'll be wearing that hat, Serge. Uh, and also Mixmaster G, hello to you, saying happy holidays there. A gravity clamp on headphones holder. That's a good idea, thanks for sharing that one. Darren, uh, Jacob, hello on Facebook, and Joe on Facebook as well. Joe says that poster looks really cool. Retro and cool, indeed. Um, so yeah, we're talking about kind of cheapish gifts for DJs. So while this is a fantastic controller, that's not what we're talking about. We're not gonna be holding up 3,000 pound or dollar. DJ gear and saying, hey, you should get this for the DJ in your life. This is just nice, simple, fun gifts for people. Right, so um, I said we're gonna talk through all the gifts that I've got there, uh, but I also wanna talk you through some other things that people are always asking us about. So one of the things that people are always asking about, uh, which you probably can't see very well on here, is the stand that we have this laptop on. Uh, and we've actually got a uh, short code to that. So if you're interested in our DJ stand, just go to djtips.co slash stand djtips.co slash stand. It'll take you straight to that stand that we use on our laptop here in the studio. And another thing that people are always asking us about is our headphones. Now these are just Pioneer DJ Q1 headphones. But what we've done is put some of these different colored packs on them. And so we've got the, the pink one and the blue one I just held up. to so give us a blue lead and pink ear Ear, ear pads, just like the colors on our Digital DJ Tips book. That would be another great gift for the DJ in your life, by the way, the best-selling book on how to DJ on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle, you can get it on audiobooks, and you can also get the actual hard copy from bookstores and also from Amazon. So another one to think about. Put that book away. Yes, yeah, so if you want these headphones, that the Pioneer DJ uh, Q1, uh, HDJQ1, and you can buy these kits to turn them into any color you want. It's not only that color, by the way, they've got red and yellow and green, as well as the blue and pink that we have used on our headphones here. So uh, a nice way of getting something personalized, especially if the DJ in your life, i.e. you, uh, has got some colors that you particularly like and you want your headphones to reflect that. Wasn't sure about those when we first made them, but it's one of those things people seem to have loved ever since. Um, you could, says DJ Ginormous, oh, DJ Ginormous, I should be paying you. You could buy the DJ in your life a course from Digital DJ Tips. I was gonna get all serious and end this live show with that piece of information, but you could. They are a great way of buying someone something that will stay with them for life, not just till it breaks. Because the skills you learn on our courses 
will enrich your DJing forever more. So do take a look at the digitaldjtips.com courses page. It's the first link at the top of our page. I don't need to tell you any more about these if you're a regular, but if you are new to us, we've got courses covering everything from DJing, scratching, production, and mobile DJing, all the way through to mixing with names like Jazzy Jeff, James Hype, DJ Angelo, Layback Luke, and more to production, to software and hardware, tech courses, and then specialized stuff, everything from making mixtapes to how to live stream. So we do have courses for everything. Do come take a look if you're new to us. Uh, right, we're talking about DJ gifts, gifts for the DJs in your life. And this is all based upon an article that's on the Digital DJ Tips website right now. Uh, and we've already uh, covered a few, but we've got a lot to get through, so let's carry on. Here's a wacky one. Uh, you can't really see it very well. Uh, maybe if I zoom in, you can, but this, tie uh, lights up. You can get them in all kinds of colors. This one is in red. You can see around the edge, it lights up. If you are playing formal events as a mobile DJ this Christmas, this could be a $20 well spent uh, item because you can be not only smart, but also, hey, wacky, just like us DJs should be. Right? So there's an LED light up novelty tie there. And that's from Amazon US. Again, back to Tech Tools. If you are a fan of the DJ Tech Tools aesthetic, especially if you use the DJ Tech Tools MIDI Fighter, which if you haven't seen it, where have you been? It's like a box with arcade buttons on it, 16 arcade buttons, and you can use it to, to map to your DJ gear and then smash out cue points on it and stuff. It's cool. They've got a T-shirt as well. So if you know a DJ Tech Tools fan, uh, who might like a MIDI fighter t-shirt, then you've got those. Now we were talking about vinyl a minute ago. How about getting some custom Serato control vinyl? And so if you have got record decks or you're a DVS DJ, or of course you know a DVS DJ, uh, this is the Thud Rumble Weapons of Wax control vinyl, which is pretty aggressive. I'm sure you'll agree and quite cool as well. Uh, this is the vinyl that you put on your decks in order to control DVS. So here's some pretty cool Serato 10 inch vinyl uh, and the idea is you put it on the decks with the special DJ interface or mixer and then when you put the needle down it controls the software rather than actually playing music uh, and all DJ software has it there's the, the big Serato ones but they all also have them I'm sure we've got some nearby for other software as well I think there are a lot of Serato there's a tractor one yeah we're not just Serato people here and some tractor one. You can get a really nice one from Algorithm so if you know someone who uses Algorithm software or that's you of course you can now get vinyl that will control their stems. So you put the vinyl down on the first track, second track, third track, and fourth track, and you can control the vocals, the drums, the bass, and the melody, which is really, really cool. So Algorithm has got that as well. You can look on their website for that. But the one we've highlighted here is the custom Serato control vinyl. Now I know that Serato keeps some of their control vinyl literally in um, very, very highly locked up safes because it's very valuable and people will break in and try and nick it. So if you buy a limited edition now, it might be worth a lot in years to come. Now here's a good one. How many of you do what I just did then? Be honest and throw your headphones onto the top of your decks when you finish DJing, like I just did over here on this one here. I've got to be honest, that's what I did. I went like that. It's not good enough, people. It's not good enough for me and it's not good enough for you. So why not treat yourself to a holder like this? which is a cool thing to do. Now, I've actually got speakers at home which are just about the right size. They're kind of like MK, uh, sorry, IK Multimedia MTM speakers. And I can actually stretch my headphones nicely over those speakers. And they sit over the left-hand speaker when I don't need them. But most speakers are too big for that. And then your, your headphones are just hanging around. So why not treat yourself to one of these? There's loads of these. So wherever you are in the world, you'll find a company that has got a, um, a kind of upside down U-shaped headphone holder like this. It's just a nice thing to have on the desk to hold your headphones. What are you guys and girls saying? What do you think? What Christmas gifts are you looking forward to? What do you think of some of these? Do let us know. I've got all the comments here. So um, uh, hello to Thad Allen, uh, who is, wants a new DJ controller. The trouble with new DJ controllers, they're pretty hard to get right now, right? As I'm sure a lot of you are finding. Here's a great one from You Don't Like My Music. Thank you. You guys and girls are the best. You remind me of stuff. And you don't like my music says these. Deck savers. A deck saver is a piece of acrylic that is pretty much unbreakable. And the idea is you buy one that fits your DJ gear. This is not, believe it or not, for this piece of gear. This one is actually for the little, um, the little prime go that is just off camera down here that I just quickly snatched it off, uh, which I'm gonna put it back on. And so the idea here is that you put it over and then you get this wonderful 
protection for all the knobs and buttons of your gear. Not only for when you're moving the gear around, but just at home. So your cats don't jump on it and mess around with your crossfaders and settings and stuff. They instead sit on a harmless acrylic cover. Uh, yeah, great idea, deck savers, thank you for that. And you can get those for pretty much all gear. So go to their website and select the one you want. And so um, lots of you saying that, DJ Ginormous is agreeing there as well, that that would be a great thing uh, to buy. So thanks for that. DJ Santa is getting me an old CD Walkman with Bluetooth and other capabilities. The main reason so I can connect it to my mini rigs and play my CDs. What a great idea, Craig. Liberate the CDs. And speaking of that, you could, if you've got a pile of records you never play, you don't want to DJ with them, you just want to play them again, you could treat yourself to a little mini record player. This is like, um, this is a uh, Vic Troller model. It's a bit ropey, this one, to be honest. It's a bit cheap. I think it's about $90. You can get a little bit better than that uh, with better sound quality than this. But we did a review on this if you want to go and look at it. But yeah, a little portable record player. You can get ones which are rechargeable. They've got built-in speakers. And again, those come sometimes with Bluetooth, so you can use them to also stream music from your phone, or you can stream from that to better speakers. So yeah, a little record player might be a good idea as well. Hey, we're covering all kinds of stuff here, aren't we? Thank you all for helping out. I'd be happy with a synth or a drum machine, says um, DB82 Techno. Yes, a synth or drum machine might be very nice. We've got loads of little synths and drum machines around here. These are a really good choice. These are the little Korg Volta drum machines, sorry, Volca. Um, drum machines, FM synthesizers, um, sequencers, you can get um, all kinds of uh, different ones of these. So we've got the drum machine, this is a little FM synth, it's a bit like a Yamaha DX7 from back in the day. These are battery powered, they've got built-in speakers, but you can also plug your headphones in and you can plug them into bigger setups as well. And these are pretty cheap. Um, so you can get all kinds of uh, weird and wonderful stuff. There's a sampler as well, a little sampler they do too. So yeah, that's a good choice. What else have we got in that kind of area? Um, these are not particularly cheap, but they are nice. That is a sampler. That's a black box um, sampler. It's called from 1010 Music. Um, so these can sit next to DJ gear and give you a way of dropping samples into your DJ sets as well. There's lots and lots of interesting little modular um, gear, but that some of that isn't quite so cheap. I've got to be honest with you. Right, okay, let's go back to our list. Let's see what else we've got uh, that we're recommending to all users. And if you want to know about any of this stuff, it's on the Digital DJ Tips website. How about a tie with headphones on it? This is actually a really nice item. Um, it's not, not that cheap, but it's about $27. It's not that bad, uh, but it's a nice, a nice little thing you could wear at work to show off your DJing credentials. credentials. Uh, you can get customized DJ neon LED lights. We've linked to where to get these from. Pretty cool to hang outside your studio. If you are a vinyl DJ, Reloop do a little case that can hold your cartridges and head shells and styli and so on. Then you might want to look at something like a bubble machine. Uh, these are really cheap. Uh, you can get the machine and fluid for $60, $70 or pounds or euros. Uh, and have bubbles for your dog to chase around in your living room. Our dog would be chasing those around. Now here's a really good tip. Uh, if you travel and you've got Bluetooth Apple headphones, this is for Apple, and the reason I'm saying it's for Apple is it's the one we use. Uh, if you travel and use Bluetooth headphones, like the AirPods, which I've always got AirPods in my pocket, I've literally always got my AirPods in my pocket. They go everywhere with me. I use them just to cut out the noise of the street when I'm wandering around. Um, but if you do use AirPods or Beat, uh, Beats Pro, you know, the Beats headphones that Apple make as well, then this is a really great little thing. This is called Airfly. And Airfly is a little unit that plugs in. Now it's also got a little, um, a little, uh, bit that you can put onto your key ring chain, although I wouldn't do that, I'd, I'd keep it somewhere safer than that. And that basically is a transmitter and a receiver for your headphones. So what that means is that if you're in someone's car and they've got an aux in but no Bluetooth, you can um, plug this in and you can stream to it from your phone and then it'll just come through the car stereo. But if you plug it into like a plane, uh, if you've got the, you know, the little socket on an aeroplane and you're, you're traveling somewhere, you want to watch the in-flight movie, but you don't want to use their crappy headphones, you plug this in and then you can use your Apple headphones. I love this. We actually use this in the studio, plugged into this piece of equipment here, which is our control for the live streams. And then I have my earphones in when I've got a guest on the screen, like we had um, 
OP from Serato on last week, didn't we, talking about stems. So I can hear it's like a monitor for the, for the live show. But that's a really good thing. It's called uh, Airfly Pro. It's from a company called 12 South, and we've linked there to it. Um, a little Hercules DJ control, Starlight Portable DJ controller. These are like less than $100, these little D DJ controllers, and they're really, really cool. That's actually our favorite, the Hercules one there, but you can also get this one here, which is the new Mark DJ to go touch, which is very, very similar. But I think um, the, the features on the Hercules are just slightly better than on this one here. Uh, and the Hercules also has a cool light underneath it, which the one I was holding in my hands then doesn't. Anyway, either of them would be a really good thing. And the best bit about them is that they fit on the bottom of your laptop. So underneath the keyboard of your laptop, they'll sit there over the mouse pad, because you don't need the mouse pad when you're DJing. They've got library controls on them. And that means that you can be DJing, for instance, when you're sat on a plane or with your laptop on your lap, on the sofa or whatever. Uh, they are a great little thing to have, and a lot of DJs do a lot more than you're meant to do on these things. I know DJs who prepare whole radio shows on their little um, Newmark or their little Hercules DJ controller. So there's another Christmas gift idea there. Now this next one uh, is, I do like to sometimes admit that I'm wrong. This next one is a pair of headphones. And these headphones, uh, I wasn't that impressed with when we first got them. They're the Pioneer DJ HDJ CX headphones. Um, they're very, very similar to the Sennheiser HD 25s, which I think are fantastic headphones. And these are like, they seem to me to be a bit of a copy, but actually they sound great. And they've got a few things about them that are better than the Sennheisers. Like they only have one lead going to one of the headphones. The Sennheisers I've got, the lead goes both sides, which is not as good. They've got a coiled lead. You can get a coiled lead for Sennheisers as well if you want, but these got a coiled lead in the box. And they twist around nicely. They're just a nice design. And uh, a lot of people have really enjoyed buying and using these this year. I know a lot of people that say, hey, Phil, have another look at those. They're really good. They're very, very lightweight. And actually, I'm prepared to Admit I was wrong, I like these more than I did when I first saw them. So if you want a pair of headphones, they're, they're not cheap, about $120, but if you want a pair of headphones uh, and you want something lightweight uh, that you literally can't feel when you're wearing them, uh, then they might be worth looking at, the Pioneer DJ HDJ CX uh, headphone. Right, what else have we got? The, the, <laughs> the Disco Ball helmet, we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous, haven't we? Uh, I've given you a link if you're really interested in buying one of these. I don't think this would be a safe thing to wear when you're driving around unless you're riding your bike onto the middle of the dance floor, Studio 54 style. Uh, that'd be a horse, wouldn't it? But anyway, here is a inner Daft Punk. Challen it, ch channel it, channel your inner Daft Punk. Grab one of these uh, and DJ in it if you think that's gonna be your thing. Certainly ain't my thing, but I couldn't leave this out, could I, once I'd spotted it. Uh, and this is from Etsy in the US. Uh, so the Newmark Party Mix 2 is another one of those small controllers that might just be a great idea. And the reason is it's got a built-in light show. So especially if you've got kids and you're thinking, I want a DJ controller I can use, but also that would be fun to have for the family. The little Newmark Party Mix 2, it comes with Serato and it's got a light show. So basically you can, it's enough for a small room to give you some uh, some lights and to have a bit of fun after dark. I know kids love it because my kids love it. So the Newmark Party Mix 2. Now, talking of machines, we looked at the bubble machine, didn't we? How about a snow machine? Uh, snow, AKA foam, but hey, it's Christmas. Um, again, these are not that expensive, a bit more expensive than the bubble machine we looked at, but you could get a good one for 150 odd. Um, we, got, we found this one at DJ Kit in the UK, but they'll be easy enough to find at Guitar Center in Sweetwater, uh, and even, I'm sure, Amazon. Um, so let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. This is a great one. This is not cheap, but it is fantastic. It's a reloop stand hub. And what's nice about this and what's clever about this is it's a powered USB hub and it is clearly a stand for your laptop. Now, I think if we didn't have our desk here all wired up the way we have it wired up, we'd, we'd be using this. We've got one here. Um, that we have used a lot in the past. Um, they are well made, and the idea is you plug your laptop power supply into the bottom of this, and then all the ports work, and they give you lots of little short leads. So you've got, for instance, you put your laptop on the top, and there's one tiny lead they provide that'll go from this to your laptop. Now your laptop's got power, but the four ports here are powered as well. It's a very, if you've got a USB-C laptop, 
This is a very elegant way of powering everything. You know, because you might have um, you might have uh, a Pioneer setup like this here, where you've got to kind of get want to get stuff plugged in. You might have audio interfaces, whatever it is that uses USB. And actually, the Pioneer setup, I probably wouldn't use something like this with it. Thinking about it, but a lot of stuff. You know, you know if you've got USB gear. So, for instance, what we've got over here. Uh, that would be USB powered and plugged into this. It could be audio interfaces, it could be, um, could be samplers, it could be pad controllers. So we've got a pad controller here. Where's my little pad controller gone? Can't find it. You know, the SP2 type, the SP, XP, XP2 controllers from Pioneer. Any accessories, basically, you can plug them all into one of these. This isn't cheap, so you need to think hard about it. But what I can tell you is it's reliable uh, and, it, and it solves that problem and there's nothing else quite like it out there. So the, it's called the Reloop Stand Hub and uh, it's one of the more expensive stocking fillers that we would recommend. I'm going to, because I'm a tidy person, I'm going to tidy that away, although I can't see what I actually took off it. I'm going to take off that anyway. I won't bore you with me trying to figure out how the studio is arranged. Oh, what else have we got then? Um, so we've got a few bits and pieces left for me to show you that I've got on the desk here. So one of them, again, this isn't that cheap, but if you want to live stream your DJ sets and you want just a really simple way of doing a good job of it, I can't recommend these highly enough. It's the little Mevo camera. And I'll try and show you this a bit closer. I'll hold it really close to that camera. Don't know if it's focusing on that or me, but anyway, it's a little camera. It comes with a mount, so you can screw it onto a tripod or something. It's got an audio in on the back, so you can plug your DJ controller straight into it. So now you've got great sound, you've got great pictures from the camera, and it's got an SD card built in, so it'll record what you do directly to the camera. But the best bit about this is, it's got Wi-Fi built in. So this will connect, not to your phone, although it can do if you want, but it'll connect directly to your Wi-Fi, and then put onto the internet, onto Mixcloud or Twitch or YouTube, wherever, your whole DJ set. So think about it, you've plugged this in, you've taken a feed from the back of your DJ controller into this, and so you've got great audio. This is set up so that the camera is pointing at you, so you've got great pictures, and this is talking to the internet directly, so you're not having to worry about connecting to the internet or anything. Once you set this up, it will just connect, and you're ready to go live, and it's recording what you're doing. It really is a pretty cool little device, and we've DJ'd a lot with these, a lot. Now, you do use your phone. Your phone has an app, which is just used to control it, and this gets even better, because on the app, you can have like zooms, and you can have overlays, and you can run video and stuff, but all the app is doing is talking to this. This is doing all the work, and this is going live. So you could turn your phone off, put it back in your pocket, uh, or walk away, and this will still work. It doesn't need your phone to work. Your phone is just what you use to do some of the advanced controls. So it's a camera, uh, it's a Mevo Start. I'm pretty sure it's called the Start. Um, but anyway, it looks like this, little camera from Mevo. Again, not that cheap, but really, really good. So if you're interested in live streaming and you don't want to mess around with laptops and stuff, that might be something to look at. What else have we got? A couple of other little bits and pieces then. All DJs like audio interfaces. This is a little iRig stream audio interface. This lets you plug into your phone or your tablet or your laptop and record your DJ sets. You plug your DJ gear in there and you plug your laptop in there. And then it's got a volume control and that's about it. It's a few other controls. I mean, they do all kinds. This company, I, uh, IK Multimedia, they do all types. Here's another one. This is a real high-end one. It's got all kinds of inputs and outputs. But this is the bottom one, this is the top one, they've got everything in between. This is all you need. Um, and there's other brands that do this stuff as well. This just happened to be the one that was on my desk before we went live. It's called the iRig Stream, and it's a great way of digitizing and recording your sets directly to your laptop. And the final thing then that I've pulled out to show you is this. It's the Philips Hue lights. Now, Philips Hue do all kinds of lights. Uh, these have got like millions of colors, so they can be white or yellow or every color under the sun. Uh, and these are good, these are fun. They've got an app that goes onto your phone and you can plug it in and you can control them. We're, we, we're hooked on these at home, we've got these everywhere, they're, they're cool. But the best bit about it is that this 
unit, this Engine DJ unit, not only this one, but any other one. So the Newmark Mixstream Pro, the SC Live 4, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They can all control these lights. So you could get yourself a few of these and then you can have a full light show going on every time you DJ at home on an Engine DJ Equip unit, which is pretty cool. Right, that's our list of Christmas gifts. As I said, these are all taken from the Digital DJ Tips website. So head over to digitaldjtips.com and take a look for our 20 last minute gift ideas for DJs. There was one more gift idea that came in. This actually came in from uh, Faye on the team when we were preparing today's live show. And Faye was saying, oh, you've got to include this one in the gift guide. Well, we couldn't include it in the gift guide because we'd already published the gift guide. However, I'm sure I can go into our internal message system here at Digital DJ Tips and find it because it was a pretty cool one. Let me find where it is and I'll uh, get it on the screen and I'll show you. So I don't know where this came from. Uh, it came from, it. she's probably told us, um, it came from stereosocks.com stereosocks.com probably giving it away now haven't i uh, it is a pair of dj themed socks last night a dj saved my life socks so go to stereo socks stereo socks.com if this looks like the perfect dj gift for you or for the dj in your life they are pretty cool aren't they so there you go there's a final bonus one there right Nearly done, I do want to just have a final chat to you because uh, I know that you're chatting away there and I want to involve as many people as I can. Positive T says, ha ha, what? Um, oh, nice, says Daryl. Uh, so A.D. Foster has bought a interface to record uh, his or her radio show but not made it work correctly yet. What about DJ gear bags, says Mo. Yeah, DJ gear bags, another good idea. Um, the Ruckus says, looking at that Prime 4 makes me realize I've got to upgrade the software to the latest version. Yeah, it's definitely worth it because you get all that goodness that we talked about yesterday on the website, namely uh, the elastic beat gridding. If you haven't seen that, by the way, it's just a cool new addition to all the Den and DJ and Newmark uh, engine gear that gives you on the fly beat gridding. So it means you can basically beat grid with streaming music because streaming music is not uh you can't do it ahead of time but now there is a way of doing it directly on the unit they've upgraded all that and we've actually got a video about it over on youtube so you can click through to that video there and i will tell you how it all works uh, on uh, on the digital dj tips youtube channel uh, right so what else are you saying to us uh, people before we go get one or two more final comments uh, and final gift ideas. Um, Ian says the Behringer UCA202 is a decent sound card for less than 20 pounds. It is, it's a great little sound card, I agree. Uh, and um, um, the fact that, oh, I can't hear you properly, says someone on Facebook. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's us, I think it might be you. My microphone looks all right on our, on our monitor, anyway. Uh, and let's just see one or two more. Uh, the hard plastic faders, says Nexu, are better for cross faders. Don't use the rubbery ones. We were talking about the DJ Tech Tools chroma caps. As I say, if you go to the DJ Tech Tools website, they've got a, a kind of, you can put the name of your DJ controller in and it'll tell you everything you need. So they'll, they'll get that right for you. Um, OBS bot cameras, OBS bot cameras, says the Rockers are nice as well. I need to have a look at those. Um, I've not seen those yet. Um, so hello to Miguel in El Salvador uh, and hello to uh, someone else on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, by the way, and your name doesn't come through, uh, you can uh, click the little link that says Ecamm and that will let us put your name on the screen. Uh, I love that laptop stand, says one of our anonymous Facebook users. Um, it is the bomb. Uh, and a few thumbs up here for the bubble machines as well. Uh, right, I'm going to go now, people. Look, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, that's it now for this year. I am going to be here on Thursday for your final Thursday Q&A Live when we're going to be announcing uh, and maybe even giving you an early chance to enter our DJ Census 2022, which, as those of you who are regulars know, comes with a really huge prize draw. And this year, we have got some fantastic prizes from the biggest names in DJing, Pioneer DJ, Denon, Rain, Focus Right Innovation, and many more. So do come and join me on Thursday when we're going to be talking. DJ challenges, DJ questions and queries. I'm going to be here for an hour helping you out with everything I can, but just at the end there, if we're all ready, 
we might even open up and let you be the very first people to take the 2022 DJ census, let the DJ industry know what you think, and also get your free entry in that amazing prize draw with many, many thousands of dollars worth of prizes to give away. For now though, from me in the studio, uh, thank you everyone who's saying thank you. Uh, hello to Nexu and DJ Ginormous, thanks for your kind words, uh, and The Ruckus, and A.D. Foster. Awesome, says one of our anonymous Facebook users. Uh, from me here in the studio, get good, get out there, make the moments, survive your Christmas parties, take the money and grit your teeth. You're gonna find drunk people out there. You're gonna be tested like you're never tested before, but hey, do the job, stay nice. As I say, take the money, uh, enjoy your Christmas and New Year if I don't see you till the other side, but do try and join me on Thursday if you can. Uh, so to all of you from me, bye-bye. Till next time.